Hey, this is Miss Alana working on math, being awesome and amazing, and I know you are too. We are working on day one of our fall harvest math apples. Now, we have finished the front side, so if you need the videos for those questions, make sure you find those. We are now on the back side. Guess what? We did that one too, so find the video for the grid, the arrays on the top. We are down to the bottom. Are you ready? Make sure you have your paper so you can work it out with me. Let's begin. It says right here, write the weight of each apple in standard form, and another way to say that is base 10 numerals, and the second way, expanded form, and the next way we need to write is in word form or in number names, okay? So, let's begin. Apple number one weighs, let's say that number right, well, we don't say zero and, and remember, we don't, we don't say the P word, you don't say the word point, don't say that word, we need to say the word what? Well, no and, since it's zero, we just say 327,000 pounds, okay? And apple number two weighs, nope, not the zero, and not the P word, don't say the P word, don't say point, don't say it, it is 295,000 pounds. All right, so the first way, the first thing we have to do is write the standard form. Another way to say that is base 10 numerals. Okay, this is so easy. This is so easy. I hope you remember. Remember standard form, base 10 numerals. You write it just with the digits, just how it is. So easy. So right here, look, just write this digit zero, decimal point, three, two, seven. Be easy. The next one, what do we write? Just copy that. Zero, decimal, two, nine, five. Easy. All right. Now, for the expanded form, the next way we need to write is expanded form. That means we need to expand it out, spread it out. We're going to do digit by digit. Okay. So right here, we don't need we don't need to worry about the zero because that's nothing. Let's write that three. Now I'm going to show you one way to write that, and let's do it this way. Uh, actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, let me just show you this way. We're going to write the three. And what place is that in? That is the tenth place. So we're going to write three times one tenth, just like that. Because that's the tenth place, okay? The next digit, write the plus. That's a two times what? What place is that? Hundreds place. So write the hundreds place, just like that. And the next digit is the seven. So we're going to write, oh, did I run out of room? Seven times tens, hundreds, thousands. Bam, we are done. Done with that one. So we have three tens plus two hundreds plus seven thousands. Let's do it for the other number. We start with that two. So we have two, and what place is that? Tenths place, just like that. Do you see that? All right, let me scoot over here. Then we have the nine, and what place is that in? Hundreds place. And then we have the five, and what place is that in? Thousands place. We're done with that. So easy. Just go one digit at a time. One digit at a time. And break it down. And break it down. So easy. The last thing we have to do is word form. Now, sometimes you might see, it doesn't say word form, but it says number names. So know both terms, both ways to that they're going to ask you. They might say word form or number name. Well, you know how to do that. Let's write that in word form or it's number name. And we, we've been saying it, 327 thousandths. Because remember, that's tens, th hundreds, thousands. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Tens, hundreds, thousands. What? Tens, hundreds, thousands. What? Tens, hundreds, thousands. What? Remember that. 300, let me write it down.
327,000. Now we, oh, that, ah, no, that's not right. Fix it. All right, thousand. It's like writing the word thousand with a THS at the end. Don't forget that THS at the end. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Go to the next one. Same way. 295 what? Tens, hundreds, thousands. Tens, hundreds, thousands. 295 thousands. Write that down. 200. 95 thousands. Write the word thousand with a THS at the end. Bam! We are done. We wrote these numbers three ways. We wrote the what? Standard form, base 10 numeral. That's one way. We wrote it in expanded form. That's the second way. And the third way is to write it in word form or number names. So you know how to write numbers in all kinds of ways. We are, we are almost done. We are almost done. See you in the next one. If you need any help, go check out the other videos. See you then.